Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video as you can see we are back on Soulstone survivors. The alpha patch just hit which is like their beta so there is some juicy stuff that we are going to get to look at. Hopefully the alpha or the beta has gone to live by the time you see this video. If not it will probably be by tomorrow but anyways if you can see underneath the crystal there is something hidden over here. So if we click start game, we see three hearts. And if you were thinking, wow, that's so cool. It is because it is Valentine's Day tomorrow. So we have a Valentine's or ritual of love event happening for 10 days, 13 days, sorry. So the 13th of February to the 26th of February. It might last a bit longer. We'll see how everything goes, but anyway, uh, we've got quite a few things. So the first things first, let's start off with the fact that there's three new hidden achievements. We are going to do that now in this video. And then we will obviously in future look at the Omen of Spring update with all the new rare weapons, new skills, enemies and more. We are going to look at the new enemies in this video because it is part of the Ritual Love event. Now we can actually go to skill tree because there is something new. If you have a look on the blue side of the tree, there is zero out of five over here. It says gives a chance to lock a power up in place, saving it for your next level charge per match and you get five. So that's really cool. The next will show what exactly that is. If you are a bit confused when we get into the actual round, then we've got for the first original seven characters, we have their rare weapons. So we are going to be showing you, I'll just show you quickly what they all are. So it's Templest Battle Axes for the Barbarian. Uh, we've got ourselves the Shard of Chaos for the Pyromancer. We've got the Heart Seeking Rifle for the Houndmaster, which actually makes sense. Maybe we, we should play him for the new new update. Uh, we got the Ice Lord's Blade for the Spell Blade. We then have the Sacred Orb for, I mean, sorry, the Benedictio Staff of Dawn for the Arcane Weaver. We've got the Misery's End Bow for the Archer Sentinel. And then we've got the Arcane Scepter of Light for the Paladin. And as you saw on each one, if you were reading while I was talking, is that they have different starting weapons and obviously different unique skills as well. But we are going to play with the Barbarian. They did change crit mastery so that it does work with Dazed and Disorientate now. So it is well worth the time of taking it if you are going to be playing a Dazed Disoriented build. So we're running Dash Mastery, Executioner, Weapon Expert, Generalist and Crit Mastery. We then need to play on the Whispering Grove for the Ritual of Love event. So guys... The Winterfall event was on the Frozen Wastelands. Uh, this new event is on the Whispering Grove. And we need to make sure we're on 34 Curse Intensity if you want to unlock all three skills at once. Otherwise, just like the Winterfall update, it was 8 Curse, 24 Curse, and 34 Curse if you want to do it in stages. I'm going to do it once off at 34 Curse. We've taken off House of Lords so that we've only got two bosses that spawn. So it makes it a bit easier. We've then taken off the Void Presence. And we've also taken off the Overwhelming Corruption. So that we have the 34 Curse. And it does make it a lot easier that we don't have the uh, Corrupted Voids. Uh, the Void Hunters as well as the Void Presence chasing us. So let's get into it. Let's see what's new on the Whispering Grove. And let's check the new weapon out. So first things first, let's have a look. He gets Overcharged Strike. Every 5.2 seconds, he creates an electric blast in front of you, causing damage and applying disoriented, disorientated, disoriented, okay, disoriented. And then we've got Thunder Slash, which deals damage and then more damage per stack of dazed or disorientated. So works very well with Holy. So if you did want to do something silly, grab yourself the Holy Ruin on him. But now we are looking to grab ourselves something like the... Uh, we've got to do the event. So what we're going to do is there is something that you have to look for. There isn't uh, anything to do with actually killing the bosses this time. What we are going to be looking for, guys, it's going to be in the bottom left corner of the map. 
or just above the corner is this heart. So we're going to destroy this heart and we are going to see what happens. And as you heard, we have summoned ourselves this Cupid Archer weird little guy. And as you can see, he is immune to absolutely all damage that you deal. So what we have to do is find a way to hurt him. And that's exactly what we are going to show you. All right. So now what we need to do is just play the game and dodge that dude. And then in a little bit of time, we will show you exactly what it is that we need to do with him. But for now, there isn't anything I can show you. So think of him as a Void Presence. He doesn't hurt as hard as the Void Presence does, but uh, he still hurts. So just try and dodge him. And then we're just going to get levels. There are some cool things I need to show you. So let's level up. Firstly, if you can have a look, there is like a new little update with regards to how the upgrades look so obviously uncommon gets nothing nice about it then the un i mean common gets nothing nice about it uncommon's got this green hue like lighting on it now and obviously it happens with the legendary epic as well so we're going to take ourselves some area over here uh, what do we need we don't really need any of these so we can re-roll that yeah there's nothing really fantastic happening over here we'll take ourselves an avalanche grab some movement speed, grab ourselves a merciless. We can actually grab a death vortex as well because just why not? Okay, increase the damage of our thundering slash again and grab ourselves some more movement speed with a chromatic bolt as well because we have the generalist. So as you could see there, there was an update. We didn't have to use the lock system, but I will show you again with a skill that we want to keep. It will be worth it. Also, as you can see, there are new enemies now that are spawning in the Whispering Grove. So we've got these weird little flowers, which are new elites. Uh, they are the ones that obviously spit the AoEs out at you. So as you can see, they are new, they are different, and that's really, really cool. Now, Let's talk about this dude since we got a little bit of a break. There are going to be towers that spawn. Oh, look, new mushroom guys. So sort of like these pillars of despair, there is going to be a tower with regards to an, uh, the update or the, the Valentine's update. So you are going to be looking for a Valentine's-y type of tower all over the map, which will spawn eventually. I do love the... the uh, flowers that have been added the little heart over here on the side of the trees if you heard there we heard like a little charming sound i believe that means that there has been a tower that has spawned so we need to go and find this tower and then we will show you what we do with it so here's the tower over here i hope you guys heard the charming sound i will make sure that the volume is up so that you did hear it and now what we got to do is get our cupid friend here to shoot this tower so there we go you heard a sound that he has destroyed the tower and we need to do this eight times all right so it is on a timer itself so you kind of just got to be patient as it's just going to happen on its own you got to be patient and just let it happen so we're going to use a lock just so you can see what happens we'll lock our thunderclap because it's disorientated so it helps with thundering slash so we lock it as you can see it puts a lock around there and when we click reroll it allows it to be over here in the options of the next uh, reroll so you would make sure that let's say you get two legendary options in one run or one level up you can lock the one legendary take the other one and the next option you can take that legendary that you locked so really cool a really really nice change that they added there it really does help with uh, dealing the uh, dealing with like having the the crit happen more often than i'm uh, not the crit uh, when you have two of the same legendaries or multiple legendaries in one shop it has really helped with making sure that that isn't an option or isn't really a problem for you anymore in the game 
So as I said on my curse 34 runs, I only run with two bosses so it is very easy to handle them and deal with them. The only real issue is like the pillars which aren't really an issue and maybe having a bit more elites than you usually used to. Alright, so we heard the sound again. Here's the heart. We're just going to stand behind it. It's a bit risky. We might get knocked out. We did. But he still hit the heart, which is fantastic. So that is two out of six. So that's really cool. Also, I forgot to mention, in the settings, they have now added a disable object warnings. So it no longer tells you the objectives. Well, I mean, I've played long enough to not need this. So I have... Uh, enabled that option oh excuse me i need a sneeze and so you're probably not going to see the kill the lord's message every so often on the map all right we did hear another charm sound so let's go and see i don't know if that was just because we landed up killing uh destroying his little totem or tower whatever you want to call it but we need to go see if we can find ourselves another tower because I'm pretty sure that meant there was another one somewhere grab the laugh and we just gotta run around and see if we can find them so here's big bees we got some more new enemies I hope you guys have been paying attention to what enemies have spawned here's the tower we just gonna run some nice area of effect over there we're gonna banish leviathan as you can see the banish uh animation has also changed it's actually really 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 uh what's the word sexy if you would like to say but i really like the vfx's that have been added to the game they've done a really really fantastic job this time or well, all the time they've done fantastic jobs but uh, this has been really really good like there I could have locked some of the skills, maybe I should have, but I mean it's not really necessary. I think we can go, I actually want the area as well, so we're going to grab that, get more damage. Damage, yeah, why not? We can actually skip active skills, I'm happy with my six skills. So now it's going to stop showing us active skills and we are just going to have uh, the, the normal skills showing for us. I mean the passive upgrades. Oh man, we got knocked out of the the area. Okay, there we go. He destroyed it. I believe we're on three now. But who's counting? Alright, so again, like I said, we do have to finish eight of them. So we do have to destroy eight of those towers. And the game does tell you uh, when they spawn, which is really nice. So at least there is a hint to say, oh, well, your, your tower spawned now. You can uh, go and upgrade. By the way, I have my settings on full because this was going to be a quick uh, video in some sense. It's not so much going on with the bosses that I can't see what's happening. But hopefully YouTube itself... Uh, is okay with the bitrate that is usually why we lower the graphics is because of the bitrate on YouTube it really doesn't like us to have so much going on on the background in the background anyway let's just keep going as you can see we are getting an insane amount of XP as well but there's a charm so we need to find our little heart statue now Let's go have a look at where it is spawned. Over here, did he? No, the, the arrow didn't reach us, unfortunately. He should shoot again anytime soon. There we go, he's shooting again. We've got to stay this side. He hit it. We did hear the charm sound, which is awesome, considering we're being beaten and broken all over the place. Let's just lower the settings so that we can actually see what's going on over here. Just a little bit. I mean, it makes a huge difference, as you can see, we are able to see a lot more on the screen. Anyway, we're going to go for damage on the Thundering Strike, because, you know, that is the new skill. And Overcharge Strike are getting most of my attention, just because they are... I'm not grabbing that. I'll grab it. Just because they are new, and we want to see 
what's happening with them and how much damage they can provide us with. And we just got like a, a very nice uh, <laughs> surprise, <laughs> a very nice Valentine surprise there, you know, kind of uh, ganged up in a corner there. Oh man, sorry guys. Okay, new tower is spawning. We need to go find out where it is. Ow, we lost the laugh. That's not very good. I'm playing very badly here in terms of dodging things. So here's our tower. Okay, we actually have another tower right here as well. Oh, while we're on this topic, guys, please, please, please do not try and do this with summons. Your summons interfere with the archer's aim and also block his arrow. So if you do it with the summons, you are, it's going to be next to nearly impossible to finish the round. So please do not use summons. It is unfortunate. I know we all love the summons and we would love to use them for things like this, but it does not work. You cannot use summons okay please do not use them all right we now have a couple more to do but i also need to dodge these aoe's oh man we need to kill our friend over here we've even got more bosses spawned already and there was another Ooh, dodge that there was a tower over here there are just so many aoe's currently Okay, he should have hit it, but for some reason, it never. Okay, we need to kill this ass elemental. He's probably one of our biggest problems right now. We do have another spawn of the tower. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get him to hit the tower at the same time. That was a hit, and as you can hear, there was a dance, so he is dead. We did manage to do it. Oh no, he's not dead. There we go, we did it. We killed eight of them. You heard the sound there, and you get the achievements. So that's complete. We don't even have to finish the run. You could just leave now, and it's done and dusted, but you know what kind of person would I be if we didn't finish the run? So let's go. Now we can focus just on the enemies and finish this run without dying because obviously we've spent all of our lives. Okay, as you can see, there are bigger, like normally these were those like uh, huge elites that caused those uh, hammer or their axe strike and they knocked you up a lot. Now there are these huge uh, trees instead which have big AoEs because you know we already loved Prophetess and all her AoEs. <laughs> they had to go and add even more AoE to the game. So <laughs> joy to that. <laughs> oh, man, I need a slow. Come on, give me a slow game. There isn't any on there. I don't believe we've taken. Oh no, we do have a touch of us actually, so that's fine. So taking Hypothermia was a good idea at least. And now we just got to complete the map. There's only two bosses left. And then we are done. And at least we got to see a really decent uh, new skill as well along the lines. We got to see the overcharged and a thundering strike. We'll see how much damage they do. I'm sure they dealt the most damage, but we do have blade storm. And as we all know, blade storm deals a ridiculous amount of damage as well because of just how it works so you know that is something we have to take into consideration but i'm sure we will find the correct amount of damage and there we go dead and done and dusted so that's fantastic we could go into overlord cycle but that isn't necessary we didn't even get a full amount of crit unfortunately 
or have enough time for crit uh, mastery to really shine the way it can but that doesn't matter it could mostly be for overlord runs but as you can see thundering slash dealing double the amount of damage as it, than everything except for blade storm but it still dealt a lot more damage than blade storm and let's go quickly have a look at what the new skills are that we have achieved uh, if we go to skills uh, over here uh, we've got ourselves heartbreak orbs so we launch three orbs that bleed we've got heart rending strike which bleeds <laughs> it transforms all stacks of bleed into hemorrhaging hemorrhage and then we've got camor's arrow which deals a whack ton of damage and then bleeds and stuns as well Camaro's arrow is similar to Savage Strike, where the damage is split equally among all enemies hit by the arrow. So really interesting designs, they all bleed uh, kind of weapons, and you can only get them on characters with these tarpings as well. So obviously projectile, projectile, and then obviously swing for a heart-rending strike. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you uh enjoy the valentine's update while it's out and we will have more videos on it coming out soon so keep peeled keep your eyes peeled on that remember to like comment and subscribe and always remember keep safe survivors until next time cheers